Hello and welcome back to Near Place Kigero Deception 2. After a bit of a break to play some Animorphs, we're, uh, we're back here with our third playthrough, uh, which has been a bit of a um, bit of a snafu for for me, just in terms of preparation for this and figuring out how I want to do it. And I'm not I'm still not entirely sure. We're just gonna kind of figure it out as we go along here. Um, I'm gonna grab some an attack wall here. Basically, what happened is. The, um, the walkthrough I was using to let me know how to get the different endings, because I want to get all, all four of the endings and I want to get them properly, left out some important information on the third ending, and that is the, uh, the dialogue prompt that you need in order to get the, um, in order to get the third ending won't show up if you've killed everyone prior to that. Um, I thought it was enough to just let the, the Grail Seekers in Chapter 17 find what they were looking for, but apparently... If you've killed, um, if you've killed both, uh, Rain, Gerald, and Julia, uh, then you, um, then it just won't happen. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the prompt itself, which will probably be in the, um, in the next episode, uh, I'm, I'm assuming. But, um, as far as this episode goes, basically what happened is, after I found out that I <laughs> needed to start over, I went ahead and beat the game because I was almost done with it anyway. Started a new game, and upon playing, realized that you can't let Gerald, Rain, or Gerard, I think it is, Gerard, Rain, and Julia all three live. Um, because if you let Gerard and Rain live, Julia never shows up. So that, um, that battle that is the version of Chapter 5 we're on now doesn't happen. So I started a separate game in a different save file. Which I'm playing now, and we'll get back to my uh, the original save file once we're ready to go on and get the third ending. But uh, first, let's do something that I plan to do a lot more of in the fourth uh, playthrough, and that is look at our enemy data. Um, a lot of these characters we won't see again, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. But when we play through the fourth time, I plan to do this with everybody, because a lot of these characters, you don't know anything about them other than their dialogue and what's displayed here, and we haven't been looking at it. So first up is uh, Julia, who's the one we're looking to save. Some of you may recognize her. Uh, Julia is a red blood gorilla, known for her expert boomerang skills and infiltration tactics. Um, perhaps we'll see a little bit of that. Um, and then good old Rattlefuss, who's another character that we won't see again um, in the uh, in the fourth playthrough. He said it's as a red blood priest, he has inborn defense against gas and other healing powers. Uh, so that's see that's information that'd be handy to know if we use gas. And these other three characters will appear, but in different chapters. Um, first up is Grandor, uh, known among his peers as an able soldier. He's a veteran of mercenary. Uh, he's a veteran mercenary of countless wars. I uh, misread that a little bit. And then uh, Jackal, who's a soldier here, uh, one-time Red Blood foe who joined ranks after defeat against Keith. Opportunistic. Um, a little, uh, a little bit untrustworthy of a guy there, it seems like. And then um, Saki, who's a fighter. Um, and I always liked Saki. I don't know what it is about her I like. Maybe it's just that um, she looks just so much like a certain Final Fantasy character. But she's uh, lost confidence after being defeated by Grand Orr. Uh, now pursues new purpose in life. So see, now we know a lot more about these characters that we would have never known if we didn't come in here. And again, when we do our fourth playthrough and play through the whole game again, I'm going to do that for everybody. Uh, just so we can learn a little bit more about these characters. But let's go ahead and battle start here on, uh, on our Chapter 5. Uh, variant here, which is titled Vengeance. Um, Julia's, that is. And there's Julia and Rattlefist themselves uh, here outside of our mansion. Julia says, It's time to invade the castle. Um, Gerald, oh, it is Gerald, and Rain were probably killed in there. Be careful. See, uh, she wouldn't even come if, if they hadn't been. And then we get Grandor who says, We will avenge their deaths. And, uh, the opportunistic jackal says yes <laughs> yes he will and saki who's a uh, very um optimistic says don't give up hope yet we might see gerald and rain quietly romancing each other in some corner of the palace and perhaps we'll know a little bit more about gerald and rain's uh relationship when we when we play chapter four and look at their profiles but julie says i hope you're right uh, and then rattlefist over here looking myster all mysterious as you know, we must split up after this mission. Stay alive! Ugh, easier said than done, dude. And you know, I'm not even on a killing mission here uh, with these characters, but um, I, I am going to be killing Rattlefist and, and all of them except Julia, actually. 
So um, I'm just going to set up a handful of traps here. We've got people that are going to be coming in on, um, on either side of us. So I'm just kind of trying to prepare for, um, for both of them here. But hopefully we'll be able to, um, to deal with them. Uh, Saki doesn't have a whole lot of health, and Grandor really doesn't have that much either. He's got like a full bar, but um, compared to some of the other characters we've seen, that's not that much. So um, I'm just waiting. It looks like whoever's coming in this door is going to be a little bit faster than the one upstairs. Especially since the one upstairs is still going to have to come down the stairs afterwards. So go ahead and... It's Grandor, so I'll set off this bomb. Um, hopefully that will... Uh, <laughs> That will stun him for a little while, and I'm just going to go ahead and move the heavy claw over here at the bottom of the stairs, since I um, hope to uh, hope to trap more than a couple of people over here. Um, oh crap! My my claw wasn't ready yet. Um, well, let me um, see if okay. There goes Saki. Um, she's still alive, of course, but uh, pretty badly hurt. I'm going to drop the spike, spike rock under the assumption that somebody's coming up after me. But, um, nope. I was wrong. Okay. They're just kind of convening down there. But hopefully I can, um... Okay. So I got Grandor there. And Saki's actually trying to leave. Um. That's interesting. Well, uh... I guess I'll go ahead and let her if she wants to. Like, um... I have no intention of killing anybody I don't have to in this battle, so uh, if she chooses to run away, that's fine with me, uh, because like I said, we aren't going to get another chance at uh, at this level in our Mercy round, that is the, the fourth playthrough, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and drop this spike rock down on Grandor, and that should finish him off, but if it doesn't, okay, yeah, he, <laughs> I, I forgot, I hadn't actually done that much damage to him, but the spike wall will do a little bit more here. Um, Interestingly, the spike wall completely destroyed the electric chair that was there the very first time. Um, usually it takes a couple of them, but I guess the spike wall is a lot more powerful. And I guess usually when I'm in this part of the uh, mansion, I don't already have the spike wall, but I managed to rack up a lot of arc early on in this um, in this playthrough. So I guess spike rock again will probably... Yeah, it will probably. That, that'll definitely do it. The only way it wouldn't is if it missed, and I don't think that's a possibility. So there he goes. Um, he's down. Gerald, is this how he too was killed? Um, I don't remember how he killed. Actually, yeah, I think it was how he was killed. Um, you guys didn't see that chapter. I, I played it just a few minutes ago. But um, let's see. Saki's. Let's see. Is she still running away? Um, <laughs> it's. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna replace the spike wall with the um, the triple arrow. Or actually, you know what? Never mind. Let's leave the spike wall. Uh, I can't make up my mind. I'm. I'm thinking here, um, the thing is, the Heavy Claw has a tendency to get people not in the right place. That is, they won't be lined up for the arrows a lot of the time, but the Spike Wall is a lot more likely to hit them. The problem is the Spike Wall doesn't actually do that much damage without the chair here to add electric, uh, electric damage to it. So I'm not sure if it's worth it, I I'm, I'm just can't decide, but um, oh, um, <laughs> Rattlefist decided to drop a um, drop a spell on me, and then oh, <laughs> activate the triple arrow just to see if it would hit him and actually hit me. That was a bad idea, but um, that's okay. We'll uh, we'll live. Let's see. Once Rattlefist gets back up here, hopefully I can, yeah, I can claw him again. Um, let me try triple arrow. Okay, I got Saki. She came back. I never imagined I'd be killed by the girl ellipses. Yeah, I was gonna let her live, but um, she came back, so. Um, it was not an option, but hopefully I can, uh, spike rock Rattlefist here and get him out of the way. Um, okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> he almost had a chance to get away, but not quite. Um, I guess I wasn't strong enough after all. Uh, no, sorry. The most damage you did to me was damage I did to myself. Um, <laughs> let's see. Okay, so Jackal and Julia are all that's left. It looks like Jackal's coming through this way. Okay, so I'm gonna... Run up these stairs here so I can get him in the, um, at least try to get him in the heavy claw here. I'm just checking my map here, see when he's about in place. Um, and I missed it, but hopefully I can get the spike rock on him and, okay, that should do a lot of the damage that I need done. Um, I'll go ahead and see if, oh crap, I was hoping I could run past him and get back down the stairs, but I guess not. Um, here's our, our dialogue with Julia though. What? Is that you, Millennia? 
Are you Millennia? So, again, she recognizes me. Um, yes, I am Millennia, as it happens. Um, I don't believe it. And so, now, she should do something. I, just sitting there, I guess. Um, probably because Jackal's still alive? Ah, ellipses. I've got to warn Keith! So, now she's leaving. Okay. Um, I've still got Jackal to contend with here, though. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can let him go, and I don't know if it's even worth letting him go. Um, he's so opportunistic, after all. So, um, maybe I can, uh, get him with the triple arrow here. He's moving at a snail's pace now that he's almost dead. So, let me just go ahead and mow him down. Ugh, I haven't done anything yet. Um, which is true enough. He has not. Um, I always remember that line of dialogue. He says it when we when we encounter him in the other storyline. He says it when we meet him there in a different chapter, too. It's, it's just a funny line of dialogue. But, um, looks like Julie is just about to exit here, which is fine with me. That's just what we wanted. Um, here she goes. She says, forgive me, everyone. And now she's gone. So mission five is clear. Um, did not kill everybody. It was not a perfect genocide, but we did have four sacrifices. Um, go ahead and look at the death info here, for, uh, just for for fun. Uh, Rattlefist was smashed by the spike rock. Granddaughter was also smashed by the spike rock. And then Jacqueline and Saki were both blown away by triple arrow. Um, so yeah, let's click next mission here. And So we're back here at the menu. Um, I I don't think there's any major changes to the storyline other than Julia will appear in a handful of cutscenes, but I don't think the cutscenes themselves really change. Just when we see Keith, Julia will be like behind him um, whenever he's talking to um, uh, whatever his other his top guy is. I can't even remember his name right now. But uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and quit out, and then we'll play the first chapter of the final three chapters from the third ending uh so that way we'll have we'll still keep two chapters per episode so um i'll meet you guys back there in just a minute all right traveling into into the future we're in chapter 24 uh shared wounds now this is a chapter we did play last time and uh we've played variations of this chapter before too uh claudius says look Warkin, it's so beautiful maybe the secret of immortality is here as you said Oh yeah, says Orkin. And I'm sure you all remember these two. We've seen them a lot. Uh, we'll be together forever after we become immortal. Ellipses. What an idiot. I've read that dialogue three times now. Because they say it every time. Um, Alright, so they're going to be coming around uh, the corner here. So, yeah, this is the... Uh, our, we're back to our original... Um, our original save file here. And we're going to be... Um, doing a, a little bit differently than we did before and if you watched the last playthrough then you already know what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, I've got some new traps though. Um, you notice we've got an iron ball, a laser arrow. Um, not The laser arrow is not what you think. Um, and then the magic sack. This is the what item that we got or the trap we got for completing the game uh, last time. That is um, the, uh, the, the, the second ending got us a magic sack. Um, and I don't actually like the magic sack. I, uh, I have to admit, I'm not a huge fan of it. I prefer a lot of the other traps to do the same things, and you'll get to see it here in a little bit. I'm going to use it on, uh, I think it'll be Warkin that comes through first. So, um, hopefully I can, I can ensnare him in the magic sack, let him walk right into my magic sack, and then I'll, um, I'll, I'll show it to you guys, and then I'll probably change it for the other times we, uh, play this, um, this time around, but... Uh, see, like, it, it just completely missed. Um, though I did get, uh, Claudia there. That's good. Um, someone is protecting the ruins, just as I thought. Um, crap. I, uh, let my guard down there with, uh, work and he caught up to me. Let me see. Let's go ahead and, and move along here. Um, I really thought I was going to get him in that magic sack, but I, it's hard to time. You guys saw what it was. Basically, it's... A no damage trap. The the one benefit it has is that it works on everyone. Most of the other ways that you would trap a person will not work on every character. Like um, a lot of characters can break out of the claws. Um, even magnets that don't affect T and D characters. 
So, um, in, in that regard, it's useful, but at the same time, it doesn't it doesn't do damage, um, which is a, a bit of a downfall. And also, the, it's just hard to time because it takes so long to um, inflate. So you saw, I thought it would get working, and it totally didn't. So, um, anyway, hopefully, I can hit working here with my evil upper, and that'll give um, my iron ball some time to uh, to load up here. The iron ball is cool. It's like the the spike rock, and um, or all the it's like all the rocks except it um it bounces um if it doesn't hit something that time it hit him so it didn't bounce but um let me just go ahead and pull Claudia in here uh I guess I can go ahead and hit her with evil upper so yeah if if it if it had have missed him it would have just bounced off the wall and then come back and gone partially up the stairs and then rolled back down again um which is very very useful um for, especially for characters that like to dodge things um. <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah, I like it a lot. Um, see, they're both going a different direction over here. They are not going the direction I thought they would. You see here, it didn't hit them, so it's rolling back up. It'll get part way up here, and then it'll roll back down. I don't know why they're going around this way. Well, actually, I do, because they they see the, um, the iron ball here, but... Um, I'm just gonna run past work in here. Um, see if I can get him to come back downstairs where I want him. Uh, in the meantime, uh... Claudia is dead. Um, the iron ball kept bouncing around, and so when she got pulled into the power magnet, it, it got her there. Um, Working your ellipses, a liar. Uh, I always feel bad killing these guys. They don't like mean any harm at all. And here's a Zevergine, who you guys may remember. Well, ellipses, give me the secret to immortality. Okay. And Workin's upset. How dare you! You killed Claudia! Yes, I did. Oh, crap. I got turned around because of the cutscene. I was facing him. I wasn't expecting to be. So let me go back up these stairs here, and hopefully I can, um... I can kind of catch him with the evil upper, like, right about... Yeah, okay. So that's the end of Workin. Now I just have to worry about Zevergine for now. Claudia ellipses will always be together! My throat is killing me. I need to stop giving these people hoarse voices. Um... It looks like Zevergain will hopefully be coming around this way. And then we'll have, um, we've got one other character after him, and then it'll be Keith. And as you may remember, last time when we fought Keith, we killed him. Um, because if it was kill or be killed. But, uh, this time, we let, um, actually in this save file I let, uh, uh, Gerald and Rain live. But, uh... We let some more of his people live, so he's going to be a bit more forgiving towards us, and we should be able to get a different ending than we got uh, last time. So uh, that's that's the goal. In the meantime, look at this weird face over here with the fire in it. Like, doesn't it look weird from this angle? Like, I think from the front it would probably look. Yeah, so like that looks right, but when you're over here, it doesn't. Perspective's off, right? Like, it's it's a little distorted. Let's see where's. Okay, is guy should be coming through here any sec. I'm just gonna activate my iron ball. Hope it um hope it hits him. Uh, iron ball. Nope. Oh well. Um, I'll activate the power magnet instead, which will pull him into its path, which is just as good as far as I'm concerned. Um, there we go. Got him with that. Um, and look at it. It also sends him flying. That's another thing I like about it. But uh, hopefully, uh, Zevergain will try and come up uh, these stairs here. Or he might just get pulled through them by the magnet. Well, no, the magnet didn't last that long, but... Uh, he's gonna go ahead and try and come up here, and I'll just evil upper him. And then, um... Hopefully the uh, iron ball will be full. And yeah, I'll just go ahead and send this towards him. Um, as he gets up, he might be able to dodge it, but nope. Right in the face. There he goes. <laughs> Look at how he goes flying. I love it. Um, it's so... Um, it's so much more destructive looking. Uh... I was in too much of a hurry. If I'd only waited a little longer, ellipses. Okay, so that does it for our human opponents for the moment. Because uh, now Omega's here. I'm going to go ahead and run back over this way and see if I can get Omega in that mag magic sack. I'd like to get Omega in my magic sack and try and um, try and show it to you guys one more time. Hopefully it'll work a little bit better against um, Omega. I'll have... <laughs> It's just hard for me to use. I don't know why. I like I have gotten it to work, and I, I would like you guys to see it in this chapter, so I don't have to use it again, uh, ever again, hopefully. Because I really would rather use just like a cold claw, or even just the evil upper. You can like 
If I had an evil upper in the same place as the magic sack and had it pointed towards the laser arrow, it would serve mostly the same function. So, um, let me see if I can... There we go, okay, I got Omega. Um, and then, but see, like, it, like, blocks the laser arrow, I don't... Uh, it's just, um, it's just not very useful. Uh, hold on, Omega has something to say. The King Ellipses, and the Priest Ellipses, and my brothers, you killed them all! Okay, so, anyway, you gotta see the magic sack. If I was better versed with it, I would have used the iron ball first. Um, but, uh, anyway, you gotta see the laser arrow, too, which is basically like a, a electric harpoon. Um, it's really cool, I like it a lot, and I'll probably be using it more in both this playthrough and the next one, I would assume, if I can, um, unlock it again in the next playthrough. But it's, it's a cool, um, projectile weapon. I think it's, I don't know if I like it more or less than the triple arrow, but, um, I never really like it a lot. So, anyway, once Omega gets here, I'm gonna go ahead and use the evil upper. I guess I should... The power magnet won't work on him anyway, so I'm just gonna switch it over to the laser arrow. Um, I won't have time for it to charge this time, that's okay, because I'm gonna evil upper and then um, iron ball. Um, though, he'll probably teleport to me before... No, I guess not. Okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> that, that actually should take care of Omega for us. Um, I don't want to die like this. Then you shouldn't have come here. I keep telling you every time. Um, this doesn't listen. Okay, now Captain Keith's here in the front. Father Ellipses, mother. Yeah, I've lost so many friends. You may remember last chapter he saw us and ran off. Um, but I still have. I still want to save Millennia's life. Uh, do I really have to fight her? And for those of you who who may not remember, you can always go back and watch. So the last playthrough is pretty much identical to this one. Um, let's see. Actually, which way do I? Maybe I want to stay where I was, or, or go back to that um U shape room. Uh, but um, if it, if it seems like there's a little hiccup there, my my disc stopped turning for a second. I had to put it back in. But um. I'm gonna head back to this U-shaped room and see if I can head him off there. I do need to deal some damage to him, uh, as my understanding. I'm gonna go ahead and probably knock him down quite a bit just because I want to, but um, I don't. We don't want to kill him, and but I don't. I don't. I don't want him to kill us either. So I want to make sure that the prompt comes along properly. Millennia. Uh, yes, brother. You are Ellipses. Oh wait, that's right. I don't know that yet. Ellipses, my sister. Reveal and. <laughs> Millennia looks shocked, uh, but you've killed so many of my friends. I ha I have. Millennia. My dead friends would never forgive me if I released you now. He's like talking to a wall here, because uh, we're in this room. We have to fight. Okay, so, um, he's, I think he's, yeah, he's coming around the bend here. Um, let me go ahead and just laser arrow him, and, um... Iron Ball, but yeah, he dot jumps out of the way of that. So I'll just run back this way. Um, wait, hold on. Millennia. Okay, this is why I was waiting for is this dialogue. How dare you fight your own brother? Okay, so hopefully that's enough damage. And now, once he gets us down to about a quarter health, we should get a prompt. Um, what happened before is I didn't get the prompt. He just killed me. But um, here we go. All right, perfect. Okay. Um, Millennia. Yes. Ah, uh, look how conflicted he is. Um, that's some good facial emoting they've got on going on here. I could never kill you. Let's leave this country together. Um, why did I don't know why I zoomed in on his sword there, but maybe my dead friends would call me a traitor. But I don't care anymore. Uh, it's so sweet, Millennia. Let's go somewhere where no one knows about any of this. Somewhere only we know. Uh, we'll start over. Live a quiet life together. Um, so, if I say no, then I'll have to kill him and it'll be the same ending as before. But instead, I will say yes. Um, yes, Keith, I will go with you, my brother. Um, ellipses. And then, then he nods. Okay. I'll wait for you at the West Castle. Get your things together. Meet me there. Get your things together. Meet me there. There's, there's no comma or anything. Um, and, uh, now what? Um, I guess I could kill him if I wanted to? Like, I could, 
I could double cross him, I guess. Um, it's interesting that I have that choice. I don't want to, so let's just let's just follow him. Let's just see where he goes. Um, I get yeah. I guess if I changed my mind and I decided I did want um, to uh, to get the second ending instead, I could just kill him. Like he's, I could just hit him. <laughs> like I've got my traps still set up here. I could just totally kill him with these. But uh, we won't. Let's um, let's see how he goes out. I think I know the way he's going, but it's just interesting to watch this um, programmed uh, path he's taking. Like, look at him just walking to this wall here. He's not he's not sure where he's going, but now he, now he made it into the hallway. Um, we'll help you along, Keith. We'll be your bodyguards. Uh, this this episode's not long enough, surely. I mean, um, <laughs> I uh, I don't know. I just think it's funny, but yeah. So. Uh, my understanding is we have two chapters left um, after, uh, with this ending, and I don't, I haven't looked so far as to know what those chapters entail. Um, like I don't know who will be fighting. Um, I think at this point, uh, I'm trying to remember because it's, it's been a little while since I played the chapter before this. But at this point, we've killed King Eclipse and Priest Dust, um, and we've fought like the robots and a lot of the big fights. I don't think we've killed Yokel. Um, so we're probably going to have a confrontation with Yokel, um, if I'm right about that. And that may be it. Um, oh, Keith, you almost walked right into those spikes there, man. Uh, careful there. But here he goes out the back. Finally, um, he makes it out, and we're with him, so we get his... I wonder if this cutscene would happen, uh, if we weren't with him. He says, ellipses. Um, nope, just ellipses. I guess that we probably would have seen that either way. Mission 24 is clear now. Um, only took us eight minutes, thanks largely to that little <laughs> following him for like three of those. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our death info. It's again not a perfect genocide. Omega was smashed by Iron Ball. Zivergain was also smashed by Iron Ball. Worgen was thrown by the evil rap, uh, upper. And Claudia was smashed by the Iron Ball. Nobody was trapped by the magic sack. Um, because that is impossible. You cannot die via magic sack. Uh, let's see if there's any cutscenes tied to this chapter though. And there is, okay. Um, we're back here at the uh, at the mansion. And I think I actually know what cuts I'm about to watch. Because, yeah, there's Yoko there. We've seen this before. Though it may the dialogue may be different. We'll see. Um, she feels uh, conflicted because her daughter has killed her king. Uh, I, I can't really relate personally. I've never had that happen. But uh, King Eclipse, Christus, and Vogue's ellipses. Vogue's is the guy that built the robots. I can't believe Millennia has killed them all. Oh. And then she looks at us, like, breaking the fourth wall there. Uh, oh, Bashburn, uh, she ran into the castle. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think, um, I remember this. Burdick. Oh, okay. I'll let Master Valvolt know about it. Valvolt. I remember Valvolt. Okay. So that gives us an idea of some of the people we may be fighting. It's no use hiding. No. Millennia, I'll come to the ruins where you are. And, uh, elsewhere is Desfar. Yokel is on her way to the ruins! Look at him, look at that big guy. The girl Yokel raised should be in the ruins. Okay, so we've got this fight coming up. We've done this a few times. A human girl? Don't make me laugh. We can't be beaten. By one human girl! <laughs> he always says that. Killerain, even the king, the priest, and their bodyguards have been killed by the girl. Ellipses. <laughs> You'll lose your life if you underestimate her abilities. You'll use your lose your life either way, dude. Like, I... I'm sorry. There's, there's just no way. Um... <laughs> anyway, there should be some other characters here. Understand, everybody? Yeah, all these armored guys. Just... Knights everywhere. Look at all these knights. Um... We'll, uh... We'll be fighting them next week. You must think of her as a devil in human skin. <laughs> Never be caught off guard when you fight. Okay, so next week we'll have the last two chapters of um, of this playthrough. And uh, it'll be a bit more like the usual episodes are. We shouldn't have another episode where we jump from chapter 5 to chapter 24 like that. But um, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys next week and we'll, we'll, we'll slay us some armored foes. Uh, 